We've got an old draw. It doesn't work that well. It comes out of the opening. And let me show you, in the back, we have a guide wheel right there in the center of the draw. That does a couple of things. It actually keeps the draw straight when you push it into the opening because it has to ride in this track. It also keeps the back of the draw from falling down once you put it into the opening. On each side of the opening are these two wheels that the sides of the draw run on. We're going to replace that hardware with some new hardware. This is full ball bearing hardware, one on each side. So now when you open the draw, it'll open all the way. When you close the draw, you get so far, it'll actually take over and soft close the draw, pulling it tight to the cabinet. And we just can't put this hardware on the existing boxes. No, it'd take too much to modify the draw box to accommodate for the hardware. These are too wide and they're too high. Okay, so that's why you had me take the measurements and send them off to the cabinet manufacturer. Right, so now we have the cabinet boxes and the hardware, let's get to work. All right, to get started, we're gonna remove the hardware. Hey Tommy, here's one of the new drawer boxes. All right, great. These boxes are really well made. They're pre-finished maple on the inside and the outside. All of the joints are dovetailed, so they're really strong and they'll last long. Another thing is the cabinet maker made a notch right here when they made the draw boxes to accommodate for the draw runners. Now we have to think about mounting the draw runners into the cabinet boxes. We want to make sure that they are square to the front, both up and down, and left and right, and also parallel. Now we have to mount the bracket inside the box using these brackets right here. It's going to slide into the slot that's on the runner. Now we're ready to mount these inside the cabinet. I want to make sure these are positioned correctly. There are a number of ways to establish the location for these brackets that go in the back of the cabinets. The way I did it is I put the bracket into the draw runner and I set it on top of the rail like that. So now I set my scribes a distance from the underside of the countertop to the top of the bracket. I can then transfer that measurement inside the cabinet and that will get my height for the bracket. Now we have to think about how the drawers are going to attach to the runners. On the underside of the front we have to attach these clips right here. That will attach the runner to the drawer. It will also allow us to remove the drawer from the cabinet. Now we want to pre-drill a couple of holes. Now I'm ready to install the draw runner into the bracket. All right, our new draw boxes are in, and now we want to reinstall our old draw fronts. There's a couple of screw heads that stick out that are actually holding the hardware to the draw front. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to position the draw front to where it goes, in relationship to the doors. I'm going to position it like that. I want to hold it really firm against the draw box, and I'm going to hit it. And that's where we're going to drill two little holes, pull off of the head of the screw. Now we pre-drill a couple of holes in the draw box that are going to hold the face to the draw box. Put two dabs of hot glue right on the screws. Okay, now I'm going to push it in. I'm going to wait. Okay, I think the glue's dry, so let's give it a try. I'll slowly open the draw. Now we can put a couple of screws in. All right, Jamie, what do you think? These look great, Tommy. Look how far they open now. I have all this space. I can actually reach it. There's no rattling. And when I shut them... They close on their own. Nice, soft close. Mm -hmm.